Hey you guys, so today I wanted to recreate one of your guys' makeups, plural. I've seen a few other uh, YouTubers do this and I think it's just really, what a little fun way to make a family. <laughs> I've selected a person, okay? Her name is Shelby. And this is the look I'm going to try to kind of loosely recreate. I'm not going in confident. <laughs> I just think her face is so pleasant to look at. Don't you just kind of feel like like holding her face in your hands like this and being like, good job. Okay, great. <laughs> She's gonna be like, please don't follow me. I'm gonna have to block you after this. Uh, anyways, I'll link her Instagram down below. Before we get any further into the video, I wanna let you guys know that this video is sponsored by uh, Hourglass. I'm actually in a year long ambassador role with Hourglass. So I'm very excited. Thank you so much to Hourglass for sponsoring this video. Thank you to you guys for supporting me as always. And uh, let's jump into the video. As soon as I asked for people's looks on Twitter, I immediately regretted it. <laughs> I was like, okay, I distinctly recall asking for some looks not to be shown up. My subscribers are all better at makeup than me, so I don't know why I'm doing tutorials. Anyway, okay, so when I look at this situation, we've got a nice kind of dark base underneath just a whole ton of glitter. I don't have any glitter that's as chunky as what she's using here, but I have some things and I'm just going to put all of them on my eye. Okay, I'm gonna take uh, Axis from the Anastasia Subculture palette, and I'm just going to pack that onto my lid in such a way. I'm, I'm, I'm just gently regretting, it's a mild regret, saying in my last video that I never take my makeup off to redo it, because I feel like that was me getting a little bit cocky and now I'm frightened. It's not even that the look that I chose is particularly difficult, it's just that I don't look that cool is the main problem that I'm experiencing. And also I like brown eyeshadow, so y yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna jump into my Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions palette and I'm gonna grab this uh, little bright color right here. And I'm going to blend that right in my crease. So it's kind of like halfway over top of that color axis and halfway over bare skin. Guys, don't judge this until it's done, okay? Hourglass right now is probably watching this video and they're probably like, we have to revoke your ambassador role, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, this is not the look that Hourglass is going for. And I'm gonna be like, what do you mean? Anyways, don't judge it until it's done and then maybe even then we're still not gonna judge it, okay? Okay, okay, I'm taking a clean brush and I'm just going to buff over those nice blue edges to blend it out. I'm gonna dibble dabble back and forth between this guy and this guy. And I'm gonna take that right into my crease. Was this a mistake? No, 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 this is okay, this is okay. I'm stalling because I'm scared of the glitter. I don't know. Does that look blended to you guys? Not really, eh? I just feel like, do I really need to blend it that much anyways because the glitter's gonna cover it up, am I right? I'm gonna take a little bit of this uh, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner and it's in the color Distortion. I'm gonna put it on my finger and I'm going to mm, go for it. I'm just gonna kind of ever so slightly tap that on. Okay, and then she has some real chonky chonk glitter on. So I'm gonna use my little Glossier Play Glitter Jelly in the color Phantasm. Oh, this looks like this is going to be like nightmarish. Okay, okay. Oh, this is fine. Okay, I'm gonna let that glitter dry a little bit. And then uh, if we want to and need to, we can come back to it, you know? So she has really nice kind of like soft, gentle looking skin. I'm sorry, I'm so creepy, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm gonna try my best to look like this woman, okay? And then she has a little kind of like peachy, complimentary tone blush on. So I'm gonna start with my uh, under eyes. I'm gonna grab my Becca under eye corrector and I'm just going to tap that on. This finger is so efficient and this one is literally like, it cannot perform to the same agility that this one can. There's a little bit of glitter um, under my eyes, like in my concealer area, so that's okay. Really helps to um, br brighten up the face and make you look very alert. Okay, I'm gonna take my uh, Hello Fab, wait, what? Yeah, Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer in shade two. I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes and I'm going to 
blend it out with my little blender. Oh God, I forgot to put my moisturizer on. Oh, tragedy strikes. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna grab my Ultra Repair Cream from uh, First Aid Beauty and I'm going to warm that up in my hands and I'm just going to press it onto my skin. I'm just taking my Elsie concealer and I'm going to grab a little pencil brush and I'm just going to dot over the areas that need a little extra loving. Okay, now I'm grabbing my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation in the color Shell. And what I'm gonna do is take my little e.l.f. brush here. It's got like these like long fibers kind of thing at the top. It's really nice, I like it a lot. Anyways, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna rub it. I'm gonna rub the foundation onto the brush like this. Okay, and then I'm just going to buff that foundation on in circular motions. Oh, thank God this shade matches. I had to go to Sephora like literally yesterday to pick up another shade um, because I went to go film this video and I realized that the uh, the shade I had uh, was very tan, very tan. Dang, that has a nice finish. I haven't used this foundation recently because it is a little bit more full coverage than I typically go for nowadays, but I feel like it's suited for this video because this girl has like flawless skin. Uh, it's perfect and glowing. She kind of looks like Selena Gomez a little bit, kind of, don't you think, with that little face? A little hair. Here's some fun facts about Hourglass while we're here since this is a sponsored video. Did you know? <laughs> Trivia hour with Sam. Hourglass is uh, committing to going completely vegan by 2020, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. Also cruelty free, of course, all that good stuff, which is pleasant because I feel like a lot of the kind of like higher end like luxury brands are not cruelty free. Sad time, sad time for the luxury fans. So it's just kind of nice because you guys know I love me a, a luxury product. I just do, can't help myself. So I just feel like the brand kind of resonates with me in that way because I feel like you don't like really have to like compromise with it, you know what I mean? Like you're still getting like such luxury products, such high quality like packaging and formula and all that kind of stuff. So that's where I'm gonna leave the skin. I feel like that shade actually matched pretty well. I'm pretty, pretty, Stoked about it. So I was just using the shade Shell for that foundation. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set underneath my eyes. Where's my powder? I'm gonna be using my Hourglass Veil Powder for this. You guys know this is the only powder I use. Now that I've been using powder consistently, I'm just taking the tiniest little bit of that and putting it underneath my eyes to set it. Um, now that I've been using powder consistently, I've gone and purchased some other powders. And the thing that's frustrating for me about buying powder is I feel like there's powders that I swatch on my hand when I'm in the store and they feel really nice and they look really nice in my hand, but then when I go to put them under my eyes, they look so bad. I just like this powder because I feel like it does exactly what it should do basically, and that is not be present. <laughs> I feel like it sets my eyes without making them look like dry and cakey and powdery and all that kind of stuff. It's just like a super um, thin layer of product and it doesn't create some like huge textural difference because you guys know I like to leave my skin looking quite like dewy kind of thing. Um, and I like the fact that with this powder, it's kind of like I still get a nice kind of like glow sheen with my skin. And then it is set down here underneath my eye, but it's not like this like perfect matte line kind of thing where I find that some powders are so mattifying or so like thick that you can kind of see that difference in texture. It is setting that makeup and helping it last longer um, and it's mattifying that area so that my mascara doesn't transfer on it and all that kind of good stuff, but it doesn't look like cakey powder. Anyways, that's my little spiel about powder. Ooh, should I put my lashes on? Does she have anything on the bottom? It looks like just the faintest little baby bit underneath her eyes. I'm just gonna take the tiniest little bit of that and put it underneath my eyes like she has. Okay, let's do our brows. She kind of has, wow, she has really nice brows too. I'm kind of upset looking at this, this lady's face. Okay, her brows are like really nice and kind of like undone almost. My brows don't look like that when they're undone. So I'm gonna do a little bit to my brows. I'm gonna take my Glossier Boy Brow in, where's my mirror, <laughs> in brown, and I'm going to run that through my eyebrows and I'm going to kind of spike them up a little. Oh, how interesting. I feel like this uh, boy brow is like really red looking right now, don't you? I feel like, um, I've talked to you guys about this before, but you know like when a product that you've used forever and like you love it just like kind of like stops working or like whatever. That's what I feel like is happening to me with literally every brow gel I own right now. <laughs> I don't know why, I just feel like they're all like 
looking so red and so like thick on me. I don't know how to explain it. It's so odd. I just ordered a new one. I ordered the Charlotte Tilbury one, I think. So I hope it's kind of more like neutral toned. We'll see. I, I don't think my brows are gonna look as good as this girl. And then I'm gonna take my Anastasia Brow Duo in Blonde and I'm going to put a few little strokes in using that guy. Man, that looks so red. I can't believe it. So odd. I never felt like that looked like that warm before. Luckily that doesn't happen with my Hourglass TM products. I hope you like that one, Chanel. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pop on my mascara. Well, do I wanna put on more glitter? Hold on. Maybe just a little, little bit. I don't want to at all, but I will. Fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna put my mascara on so you guys can kind of like see the look with just mascara and then I'm gonna pop on my lashes at the end of the video. Uh, I'm gonna be using my Hourglass Caution Mascara today, which you guys already know has been a fave for a long time. I know I've given you guys the caution spiel a few times, but um, it's just like unbelievably long wearing. And I like that it doesn't transfer anything like that as well because, oh I got, oh God, oh no. Okay, that's just part of the look now, so whatever. Anyways, after that tragedy strikes. Oh, you know what I could do? I could take my little, I'm gonna take my little. Oh yeah, take that. Anyways, the biggest thing for me with this mascara is that um, it doesn't transfer on me, um, which I enjoy thoroughly because I was just having so many problems with like the mascaras that I had been using for like years and years and years and years and years. Um, just kind of started like transferring and they would leave like this like black mark on my eyes Whether I set my under eye or not it didn't seem to matter like it just still would transfer so bad And so when hourglass came out with this mascara, they had actually invited me down to Where was that LA we were in LA they had invited me down to LA for Dang, my skin looks kind of fucking nice right now. They had invited me down to LA for the launch of Caution Mascara and on the like little pamphlet, <laughs> it said like no flaking, no transfer, long wearing, all that kind of stuff. I was like, I'll be the judge of that. And I was, and they were right. So here we are. And then I'm just gonna pop that onto my bottom lash line quickly. Mm, I love when mascaras are getting to like the bottom of the bottle. You know when people are like, I love a fresh mascara, complete opposite. I like it when it's like dry and gross. It makes your lashes look so much better. Excitement over fresh mascaras for babies. We've grown up now, we've matured. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys, well, I'm gonna put on my beauty mark. I'm gonna zoom you guys out and then we can uh, finish the rest of the face. Okay, it kind of looks like she's not wearing like any bronzer or if she is, she's not wearing a ton. I don't know what to tell you, Shelby. <laughs> that doesn't work for me. I'm gonna put on a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Into Sun bronzer. I'm just gonna take that on a big old fluffy brush and sweep it gently onto my pixie face like she would, I would assume. Man, I, I really like how that look looks on her. It's so like high fashion. But same thing, have you guys been seeing Jamie Page lately? She has like, she posted to her Instagram stories today. I guess I'll just show you, hold on. We can just join in on this together. Jamie Page is like so, chic and like French. Wow, look at her. Hold on, Ugh. I'm trying to hold it so it stays on. Look at that little blue eyeshadow. Who is she? Little, little bun. Just wasn't born to be that classy, you know? Dang, that bronzer's so nice. I've just been loving it, man. Okay, so she put a little peachy blush on, which was very nice. It looked like a little matte blush. I'm gonna do a cream blush, how about that? Okay, I'm gonna get, this is a little bit pinker than what she used, but I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm gonna be using my Nude Sticks Nudies in the color In The Nude. I'm gonna use the same brush I used for my foundation. I should probably get another one of these because I really like it. And I'm gonna sweep it on. I'm trying really hard not to go overboard like I did in my high school days, but. It's hard, I just wanna apply so much blush. I really do. I'm gonna put on a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna use my uh, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in shade two. I'm going to dot that on and I'm just going to use my little beauty blender to kind of stipple that out. I kinda wanna put like a little iridescent shimmer on the inner corner, so I think I'm gonna do that, hold on. I'm gonna grab this color from my Urban Decay On The Run palette. It's in the shade Switchback. You, we've used three palettes today. I just feel like this would be nice. Ugh. 
Okay, she had a little peachy lip on, so I'm gonna grab my Marc Jacobs lip gloss stick in the color Preach Enamored, but the R is in parentheses, so what they really mean is Peach Enamored, AKA the exact color I should be using for this look. There's truly glitter everywhere on my face. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of a nude kind of color just to tone it down the tiniest little bit. So that is the finished look with just mascara. And then this is the final look with lashes. I also added a little star there because I noticed that she had a little star there and it was really nice. So you guys, that is everything for me today. All the products I mentioned will be linked below as well as Shelby's Instagram. Thank you, Shelby, for the inspiration. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know if you'd like to see more of this kind of style of like recreations. Huge thank you again to Hourglass for sponsoring this video. Uh, I'm so, so excited to be an ambassador for them this year. So you guys can definitely be on the lookout for more stuff that I will be doing with them because I'm the coolest now. Thanks. All right, you guys, that is everything for me. I will see you next time. Peace out.